feels like in the current meta, the last few turns are like 20, 50 gold panic attacks. Panic! <laughs> hey, you say all of that. Remember, we just played a tournament with some of the best players in the world, including XQN, Jeef, RDU, etc., etc., etc. Citro, I'm just pulling names out of a hat. And one of the top four that advanced to the finals, the grand finals, was playing on a phone. They were playing on mobile. Don't get me wrong, it's a sample size one tournament. There are mobile players out here that play very high. Jeef, yeah, Jeef's not very good at the game, true. Jeef, XQN, Beater, myself, I was just honored to be included. Sliders is in the grand finals. He might be arguably the best player in MBGs right now. He's a real, real good. Such a good card. Bro, I play so high while I'm on my phone. We'll put down the fucking joint, bro. You can fix that one. No, I was over there. I was chuckling because I was playing with it, you know, without perks. And it was just going to be kind of a joke over the course of the week. Now, shit, we don't need perks to be able to, to qualify this tournament. It's not that big of an advantage. It is. Don't get me wrong. This season is like the season you need perks the most because hero choice matters so much. But... But the dude stole my thunder. He's out here playing on mobile, and that's a way bigger disadvantage. <laughs> I just wanted to make jokes for the week and make people, you know, make people feel bad. It's my goal after all, right? We talked about that today. My goal is to make you feel bad when you watch this stream. Factual. Damn, are we just hitting? What is this shit? Is phone with perks better than no perks? They're both pretty massive advantages at the moment. APM stuff is pretty high prevalence. So like, playing on mobile sucks. And hero choice matters more than any, any other meta. This season, like, the buddy meta is like the worst one to be a free-to-play player. You guys have my, my sympathies. The only guy throwing harder was the no perks guy on phone guy. I don't know if there are any of those. We had a person that had a shitty internet connection. Also a top 25 player. Just happened to have bad, bad connection at the time. I feel like people weren't taking the tournament super seriously, you know? I gotta take a step back. We gotta be more serious about tournaments, you know? People playing without perks, people playing on their phones. The Hearthstone Battlegrounds tournament scene is for real bro wait a second is this just like the nuts hit honestly how dare they that's what i'm saying i was thinking i just level here you know sell the minion the battle cry off and level but i'm gonna take that uh that egg what is this game we're just kind of winners it's really not about the money now, to be fair, if a tournament's worth a lot of money, people take it more seriously. It's more that, like, we just don't have a tournament scene anymore. So people don't go out of their way to practice for tourneys. Not like the Lobby Legends days where people were, like, setting up private lobbies and trying to figure out how do I perform, or how well do I perform with this type of strat against top players instead of, like, just against ladder. That time period has passed. Well, that's triple. Now we're all just kind of YOLOing it, going in drunk on the weekends, you know, playing on our phones, turning off our, or turning it on the airplane mode periodically to drop out. Like we're just everywhere. Just double level. Hong oh, Kong. Or Peggy. Peggy's kind of cool. I think it's Tonk Cop though. This fucking board. <laughs> and this one was looking cool, but like we didn't automatically win the game like we did on Vol'jin. That was a turn 13 board with, I don't know, what is that? Like 25,000 health on it? Just kind of funny how out there stat gain is at the moment. We griefed ourselves. Nice tree, bro. We didn't even have time to take a tree off the board. 
It was cooking. It's the biggest tree I've ever seen. I will play it. Okay. I'm just going to go five. Like, if I'm that strong and I'm at 47 health as brand, I'm just going five. We're playing four. Yeah, it's, it's kind of four comp at the moment. I would keep the, the assistant guard over the two four because I can actually use this battle cry. Now, it's pretty, pretty rare that we can use it. It's just the spell existing in the game that you'd buy from the shop, as opposed to like games where we had death scale before Merc Eye, Rylic. Lame. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, actually. Let's do it. Hey, health buffing. I'll take health buffing. Well, at least. Make any sense? I'm not keeping these minions. So, like, this may or may not be on the board, but neither of these things stay, right? Pirate buff. Go for six. Lose your fort. <laughs> this is a triple. What? I'm so disgusted. I don't even know what to say. It's genuinely Fort Bat. I'm playing for real today, guys, not for memes. You could try to cycle this with open board space to get the gold, but you literally need all the open board space, right? You need to take all this off the board. I don't want to sell this. I've missed this comp. It's a real comp. I, I promise. Fort Bat's real, I promise, guys. Is the game lagging? Nope. Seems fine. Battle cry trigger to level? Yeah, but like, I think the tempo line's better here. I hear ya. But I don't think we just like desperately are trying to level. Part of me wants to take the glow scale too. Nice. Nice. But it's not a good lobby, right? For going the six. A lot of those games you'd be like, oh, yeah, we can go six. We can go get looks at list of L of tribes in the game. APM pirates, I guess. is about the only thing we could argue really fits this board on Tavern 6. Naga means nothing to us. Undead means nothing. Demons, good if we play this line, but not good if we go up. Tonk comp's coming back, baby. Yeah, we're bringing it back. We should look at that. He brought it back. It's a big egg. Yeah, I need the egg to die. That would be nice. Murder my egg. Do it. Die egg. Die egg. All right, well. Too strong griefing self. Dishearteningly, this is probably a second, but leveling's not really a first either. So maybe we could do something off of Rock Rock and Tavern Tempest, something like that. Uh, level for Fort. True. True.
Interesting. Nice. Actually, great. Great fucking hit. Don't eat it. Don't me do me this way, Bob. Don't you do it. Fuck you, game. Fuck you, game. That's probably our easiest way to win this lobby. Is pick eater, right? Fuck right off, Bob. Kill it. Do it. There you go. All right, we got some money. Why pick eater? Because we can buff the tavern really hard, and then we can just go golden pick eater for like a 200-200, then dupe it. Never mind. No more need a picky eater. Let's just use cupcakes instead. We can make a giant ass bat or something. On second thought, that's a silly idea. Let's not do that anymore. My game. really don't care about this. Like, this kind of value is so low at this point in the game. I just want, like, spell generator or something. And now I want the spell, right? I'm just going to have to waste a board slot. Nice. At least he ate. That's all that really matters. Good job, big guy. Tavern buff harder now? Yeah, you're just acting like it's not the best line we can play in the game, though. Like, what else are you trying to do? What you gonna do in that time frame? It's just not an infinitely long game. Do the best we can with the tools at our disposal. Saying tavern buff doesn't work well, or it's harder to get now. Like, look at the board's already buffed pretty big. It's not really my concern as much. All right, kind of changes our dynamic, right? if it was a while back. Good. We eat four at the end of the turn. We can eat two more if we want. Been good a minute ago. I was trying to hedge toward it the whole time. Who 
Okie dokie then. We go uh, scam cards and big demons, right? Been in worse spots. My fucking egg! <laughs> I swear, we do not get egg value this game. One, two, three-ish spots. This is okay, I guess. It's not like super good or anything. No spellcraft to use on that. The garbage again. All right, one of them's gonna be Leroy eventually, right? What? What? What is even happening? Just eat three and be done here for the turn, and then we move on next turn. Alright, so that was not at all what I wanted. So be it, but we still yet to find any Battle Cry spell generator. The five star. We want Leroy, we want Bramble Witch. We want to passively take the stats here, here, here. Build this guy big, whatever. Coltist in the long run could be cool, but not exactly the greatest card ever. We go six. About the same chance of finding five stars is on, on Tavern 5, and practically every card who wants on five or below. Burning four gold for it doesn't feel very good. It's your classic reborn, you're a noob, so that it can buff the tavern slightly more and we eat an extra attack from time to time. Kind of exactly what we predicted at the beginning of the game, though, right? We got a good opener. This lobby is really easy to get Bran online because, like, there's a lot of battle cries on low tier. But the win condition boards aren't battle cry oriented. We either go six and we just like YOLO it for APM pirates, or uh, nothing battle cry is really that competitive. Game gave us this really nice mid game uh, demon line. Kind of hard to pass on it. If you're being competitive. We go scam. A little awkward here, gold-wise. I swear to God, we'll find a scam card at some point. It's gonna come home. This is Bramble Witch for sure. Game's actually rigged. We have two noobs on the board. For the love of God, the scam cards, bro. The scam cards. All I need is some scam. Somebody show me some love over here. 
Give me those scam cards, Bobby. No, he's all right. That's a scam, I suppose. But seriously, like, we turn our board into a game winner by just rolling down the board and getting Bramble Witch and Leroy's, right? Three big minions, reborn Bramble Witch Leroy. Just get Lucky's. Yeah, just get Lucky's better than all the other options, to be fair. Wow, I'm going to throw a fit. I'm going to cry. Like, tears will be streaming down my face shortly. I had to threaten him with tears. Bob doesn't do do well with hysterics. Hysterical streamer threatens Bob. No. Actually, I had enough gold I should have sold through. Shit. Mistakes are made. I lost the consume. Watch the Leroy show up on the next board. Mm -hmm, you got a golden bramble. Shocking. The Le or the uh, Millhouse autoplay five star line got access to the five stars. Who'd have seen it coming? Good hit. Good enough. All right, we're scamming. We're winning coin flips. We're winning 33% and a 52%. Just need one more Leroy or Bramble, which would be even good. Kind of been playing for this line the entire time. At one gold, do you ever level? Is there anything on six I want? Refresh with elementals would be a decent spell. Get one gold, it comes out. Okay. I'm gonna have to do that after we use one spell. <laughs> Just in case. Weak. There you go. Ate the big one at least. Make a golden minion, meh. Take random spells, probably. Always got the ghoul as a backup here. One card? Yeah, but it's actually not one card advantage. I should play that through technically. Smaller minion than the other things on the board. So while in theory that, that makes sense, you get an extra card in the shop, you add more bad cards to the pool than you gain as one more good card. If that makes sense. You dilute the pool with all six stars and six star spells and none of them are useful to you. You actually make the board less appealing than having the five star board that has one less spot. That was a good first hit. When it's zero gold cost to do it, go for it. Not a big deal. You're not really costing yourself much. Well, I'm going to need a 50 or a one in three here. Never lucky. <laughs> All right. He got the scam on us that time. We're about even on RNG at the moment. Hey, what's up, Zorus? I'm gonna need a scam card, you know? Find me a little love over here. One time, big guy, one time. Meh. It's good if he doesn't bramble it and we could taunt it up, you know? Make another big boy. 
combination of this and this can be pretty good. Really wish I had an extra taunt. they're gonna kill the little guys i'm aware still better than the other minion on the board i gotta wait out bramble witch right reborn it this okay yeah actually buy that because they'll kill one of these two i like the tie break fell boar having reborn but yeah, you're right. You correct. Nice. Top top notch value going on over here. I'm going to need you to I don't know. Get absurdly lucky and we don't die. One goddamn Leroy, man. At any point in this game. The problem is he's taken like all the five stars out of the pool. Because he just cycles fives for days, right? He's gotten the golden bramble, two Leroy's. Please, Leroy. Please, bro. Please, the Leroy. Please, Bob. Please. Saw both demons and cultists from double run. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't want to say that out loud until the end of the turn. Sapphire. Shh. Don't tell him what I'm gonna do. No such thing as a Leroy. There's no such thing. He's led Leroy three fights in a row. He has led Leroy three times in a row. He's leading. God damn you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> we won the 50-50. You stop it right fucking now. <laughs> All right. Well, we got there. There's obvious reasons they can change things up. We talk about all the time with zig and zag. When you know somebody's going to do something, they're incentivized to make a play, try to pivot in front of them in the final turns. Definitely not trying to cast dispersions there. But God damn it, he pivoted right four times in a row, guy. This little, little, little motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Taunted Leroy, right? That indicates, like, they wouldn't have known.